In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a website using Quarto. The easiest way to do this is using RStudio, and that's how we'll proceed. First, from your File menu, click File and then New Project. Then you're going to select New Directory and click Quarto Website. Let's hop over to RStudio to do that ourselves. We click File, New Project. Then click New Directory, Quarto Website. Now we need to make some initial choices about our website. The first thing we have to do is choose a directory name. If you want to host your website on GitHub, which is what I recommend, you can have a personal website with an address like username.github.io, where username is the username of your GitHub account. You can also have a website associated with a specific project, in which case you can have an address like username.github.io slash name, where once again, username is your GitHub username, and name is the name of the GitHub repository that you're using for the website. If you want your hosted website to be username.github.io, then you actually will choose your directory name to also be username.github.io. If the hosted website is going to be username.github.io slash name, then for simplicity, simply choose the directory name to be name, whatever that might be. Hopping back over to our studio, let's decide on a directory name. My GitHub username is jfrench. So if I wanted to host my website at jfrench.github.io, then for my directory name, I would choose jfrench.github.io. However, I already have my personal website there, so I'm actually going to choose a different name, demo site, which means that when my website is hosted on GitHub, it will be accessible at jfrench.github.io slash demo site. I'm going to leave the directory alone here, but you should choose a place on your computer where it's easy to access the folder. There are a few different engines that you can use to render your website. NitR is a perfectly fine option, so I would leave that personally. Because I want to host my repository on GitHub, I'm going to check the box that is create a Git repository. But if you're not going to do that, I suppose you could uncheck that box. If you want to use rmv, which is an R package to manage dependencies for your project, you can check this box. I'm not going to do that, so I'll leave it blank. And if you want to use the visual markdown editor that's available in RStudio, you can check this box. I'm personally not going to do that because for me and my workflow, this actually creates more problems than it fixes, but it can be really nice if you want an environment that looks a little bit more like Microsoft Word. Once you've made your selection, click Create Project, and we now have all the ingredients for the default Quarto website. When you initialize a Quarto website project, RStudio will automatically produce six files. The first is underscore Quarto.yml. The underscore Quarto.yml file is a YAML file that controls certain aspects of your website, like the main title of your website, the pages included in the website, or the color scheme of your website. The .gitignore file is a file that contains files and directories that Git is not supposed to track when you edit them. Index.qmd is the file that controls the default homepage for your website. So this is the main file that you want to edit when you want to make your website to look really nice and visually stunning. The about.qmd file is really just an extra QMD file that creates a second page on your website, but it's actually optional. The .rproj file is the R project file associated with your website. You would open this file to reopen your website project, making it easy to pick up from where you left off when you last edited the website. And then styles.css is a file where you can place custom styles that you want to use in your website. You probably don't need to use this in general, but it's available if you want it. These files are actually enough to create an initial version of your website. So if you navigate to a QMD file, you can click the render button to render the initial version of your website. The website will then load in your web browser. And so we can see we have the initial version of demo site here. Here's the main page, the home page. It's very basic. 
And then here is the about page, the second page that is available in the initial website. And if you want to learn more about Quarto websites, you can actually just follow this link here. And if we scroll down and click on the website options link, you'll learn a lot more about the different ways that you can customize your Quarto website. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to change the output directory of your Quarto website, which is essential if you want to publish your website on GitHub.